Hello there, folks. This is Joe Azu here. Hey, this uh, quick video today is going to talk about a way to take your tags that you might have created for a device, and you're going to have multiple versions of that same exact device. And so you want to basically copy and paste and create uh, tags for the other devices, if you will. So if you look at this example uh, database I got from a, a customer here, and they have uh, right now up to 15 devices on Modbus 45 they're going to talk to. I think they're going to have more, but... Anyway, in this database so far, this person has already set up the actuators for devices one through four, and they're going through and doing this one way through a, a CSV method of extracting tags and doing some things. I just want to show you another idea of how you could do this. So uh, what I do here, I've got, I got their database open right here, and then I open up another uh, database of the same name. I open up both at the same time. And so what I'll do here is on my second duplicate copy of the same exact database, I want you to notice here that uh, they're exactly the same. If I go to data tags, exactly the same. Both files have exactly the same. Uh, whoops, where'd my thing go here? Same files, okay? So uh, what I'm going to do here is on the second version of this database, uh, over here at communications, I'm going to maybe uh, take actuator 1A, and I'm going to change this one let the name to 1a for instance just gonna call it 1a and then over here at data tags uh uh these actuator one if you look if i click on any of these you can see that it's it's linked to that same thing so i'm going to do this i'm going to change the name of this tag this folder to 1a as well okay so in the second duplicate version I've basically just changed this name. That's all I've done. And I've changed the, the directory there. Now, if I go back to the main program here, and if I go over to the left, go to communications, and they've already set up all these devices. If you just pay attention here, you can see that the drop number changes accordingly. But actuator 5 here in the main database does not have any tags. So in communications, I'm just going to temporarily change the name of this guy to 1a which will match the name that's in the other database open so this i'm not changing anything here this all stays the same but i just changed the reference name here so if i go back to the duplicate version whoops <clears throat> this version here this folder of tags is linked to the, a driver a device called actuator 1a so i'm going to right click on this folder and do a copy going to right click and copy that puts that in my back pocket and then if I go over here to the other the main program and I'll click on data tags on top I'll right click here and do a paste I pasted that there but I'm going to change the name of this now back to actuator 5 that's just merely the name of the folder there and if I go to communications here currently they're all linked to this guy but I want to change this to back to number 5 and now that easy way of doing that, if I go over here and look, these should all be linked to Actuator 5. I'm pretty sure that's going to work perfectly through the whole database. Otherwise, uh, you certainly can export the tags and go into Excel and do some changes there. I sometimes don't like to do that because then things get confused. But let's do one more. Since you're watching this far, let's just do one more. So let's go over here. We're on the main database here. I'm going to go to Actuator 6. And I'm going to change the name of this guy to 1A. Okay. Actuator 6 is 1A. I changed it there. Okay. Now, if I go back to the other version that's open, here's the other version. Uh, this is wonderful. All of these tags here are mimicked or they're uh, linked to Actuator 1. No big deal. I love that. So I'm just going to simply right click on this folder, do copy. I'm going to right click on the second version of the Crimson, copy that folder. Go back to the main version we're actually using, and on the left, go to data tags here. I'll click up here. I'll right-click and do paste. I'm going to change the name of this guy to actuator 6. Boom. And then I'm going to go back to communications, and this guy here that's 1A, I'm just going to change the name of this to a 6. Hit enter, and it should recompile. And just to double-check my work, if I go over here and expand, these all should be to actuator 6. Yep. One thing I will say, uh, as you do this a few times, don't forget to save often. I like to save. I should have saved that as a different name. That was a dumb move. But anyway, I saved it there. Uh, the other thing here, 
when you're doing these kind of things, periodically go to the file pull down and go to options and do recompile database. And then also go to file pull down utilities again and do rebuild comms blocks. Um, that just does something in the background that kind of cleans up some of the linking of the tags. So now I probably, if I go file save as, uh, I'll save it as a different name and then click yes, or don't, always click no to the database identifier thing that uh, I've talked about. Anyway, that's a quick way, in my opinion, of uh, how you can add devices. And this is actually a great example because they've already set up all the devices here. All I'm merely doing is changing the name here to 1A, go to the duplicate program, copy the folder from there over to here, and then relink 1A to the next number 7, number 8, number 9, and so forth. Anyway, hey, thanks a lot, folks. Have a great day. See you later.